With the NFL draft quickly approaching and a couple outside linebackers for Wisconsin expecting to hear their name called, we thought we'd sit down and break down some film about what makes TJ Watt and Vince Beagle ready for the next level. We're joined by Wisconsin outside linebacker coach Tim Tibisar. And coach, we'll start with TJ. Projected as possible first round pick. We can see the sacks, but what makes him so good and what allows him to get those sacks? Well, you know, TJ is an incredible combination of size, speed, and agility. We've got a couple clips here that we can take a look at, TJ, and the first one here is a little bit in run defense. They run a little uh, quarterback counter play here coming at him, and he takes on the blocker, and he goes through the inside shoulder of the guard right there and does a great job of playing off the block, comes inside, wraps up, and makes a tackle right there for no gain or a tackle for loss. Knows exactly where he's supposed to fit on it. He's what we call a spill player right here. He spills the, the pulling lineman dips underneath it, goes in and makes the tackle on the quarterback. It only started for you guys one year at outside linebacker. How did you see him grow from when you first got him to now and then where he can possibly get to? You know, a year ago at this time, we knew he was going to be a real good player. You'll see here from this angle right here, it's really, it's, it's, it's him taking and the, the, the coaching that we do is he doesn't predetermine how I'm going to rush. He's going to, he's going to come out and try to fire off and work speed initially. And then right here, the guy goes to set into him and transitions into a, a, a power move. And as soon as this guy tries to resist his power move and gets his weight forward, as you see the offensive lineman right here, his upper body's all out in front of his knees. And so he's leaning forward. And so then TJ, instead of trying to continue with a, a power move, he's gonna pull the outside shoulder and go to a finesse move and go right around the guy. And so if the guy would have stayed on his heels right here, he would have continued with this power move. And so that's getting a feel for it. And some guys develop that early on, and some guys it takes a lot of reps for them to be able to get that feel on the offensive lineman. And TJ certainly had that right there. We're able to use both speed and power as a pass rusher, and that's what makes him effective. So that speed and power is why he's a potential first round pick at the next level. Absolutely. You talk about his athleticism for a guy who's 6'5", 250 plus pounds. He comes up, he knocks off the guy that's the primary receiver, transitions, and then gets his hands up like we coach him up to to try to get, bat the ball down. But not only is he bat it, he, he's able to catch the ball right here, tuck it away, stiff arm the quarterback, run in and score a touchdown. And so that's where you see, you know, he had excellent hands as a tight end and still does as an outside linebacker. Yeah, I know he's still on the jugs machine sometimes in practice too, working on those hands. But uh, switching to Vince Beagle now, what's, when you pop on his tape, what's the first thing that jumps off the tape for Vince? Well, you know, he makes plays he's supposed to make, but then he makes plays he's not supposed to make because of that relentless effort and that great motor. Vince right now is setting this up and, and knowing that the sit game situation is third and sixth, the offensive line is showing pass right here. He sets this up by working up the field Field first and then makes his inside move right there and is able to make a great club and swim move right there on the offensive tackle and be clean and completely makes the tackle miss and so that's the experience right there of Vince and knowing the situation setting up his own pass rush move right there goes inside makes an inside move and same thing close down the quarterback another pass rush uh, clip right here of Vince and you know this is a third and five in the red zone and same thing he's he's i know he's pre-snap reading that offensive tackle the big huge stagger he knows it's going to be a pass and now he does a similar type move with where he goes speed initially goes to bull rush right there and then the same thing the offensive tackle gets his weight forward he snatches the outside shoulder and then he pulls through and he does a rip move okay to beat the tackle right there when the tackle goes to be a physical player and he gets his weight forward like in this right here in this spot you can see Vince now transitions to a finesse move. And so he's able to close in right there and get the quarterback and sack the quarterback right there in the red zone. You ask these guys to do everything here at Wisconsin, cover, rush, so that's gonna really help. We do, and that's where I think, you know, they're playing a true linebacker position. They're not just pass rushers. They, they, they play zone coverage, they play man coverage, they, they know how to drop, and then they, they're, they're explosive. And that's what's made them so effective for us in the Big Ten, and, and that's what's gonna help them be effective at the next level. Well, we'll see what happens at the NFL draft. Absolutely. Whoever gets either one of these guys are going to get great players that are going to work hard and, and I think have a long, successful NFL career. Well, thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. You NFL bet. Draft April 27th to the 29th.